Two Ukrainian-American businessmen based in Florida have been linked to Rudy Giuliani and the impeachment inquiry of President Trump. According to the Miami Herald, Igor Fruman and Lev Parnas helped Giuliani engage with key Ukrainian officials in order to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter. Both businessmen have been linked financially to President Trump, including a $325,000 donation to a pro-Trump super PAC. Investigative reporter for the Miami Herald, Nicholas Nehama, contributed to that piece, and he joins us now from Miami. Thanks so much for joining us, Nicholas. Explain uh, how these two men are connected with Giuliani and the call with Ukraine that Giuliani uh, has, you know, what's interesting about that call is the fact that uh, the president has been talking about right. Joe Biden. Giuliani has had a long, 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 long history with Ukraine, even before Trump became president. Yes. Yeah, the, the mayor has, uh, the former mayor. He's done a lot of business over there as a consultant. Um, and, you know, his relationship with Mr. Parnas and, and Fruman is a little mysterious in its origins. Um, he said that he is their lawyer, although he hasn't really seemed to represent them publicly as a lawyer in a serious way. Mr. Parnas confirmed that to us, that Mr. Giuliani is his attorney, but also said they're good friends who golf together, go out to dinner, smoke cigars, hang out. Um, and so the relationship certainly, you know, blurs the line between uh, client and friend. Okay, can you talk a little bit more about these two men, though? So they're businessmen living in Florida, but they're from Ukraine. What were their roles in Ukraine, and why are they here now? Uh, Mr. Parnas uh, came to the United States as a, a young child. He, he's a Ukrainian-American. Uh, Mr. Fruman emigrated from Ukraine when he was a bit older. They are businessmen with, uh, especially Mr. Fruman, with serious business ties to people in Ukraine. Um, again, the origins of how and why exactly they started looking into wrongdoing, alleged wrongdoing by the Bidens or American diplomats is not exactly clear. Mr. Parnas told us that, you know, he was approached by people who knew about his relationship with Giuliani and saw that as a way to get information to the White House. So the Rudy Giuliani has says uh, has said that both Furman and Parvis are clients of his. If Congress were to call them up to testify, could he cite attorney-client privilege? Uh, I think that that might be his intention. Whether that you know would hold up, I think it would depend on the nature and extensiveness of the legal work he's performed for them. So, the, at least one of the men that you spoke to says that people approached him with information to get to Giuliani, not that Giuliani approached him asking him, asking them to do a little sort of digging. What, how would they benefit from doing any of this work? Well, uh, the material that they're collecting could be of interest to the 2020 campaign. Um, and it does, they say, shed light on the 2016 campaign. And so, you know, anyone who might have information that is valuable to a sitting president, I think, would have, or information they believe might be valuable, would have a motivation to try and get that information into the hands of the administration. Uh, what can you tell us about their financial profiles? So uh, Mr. Parnas in particular has, has left behind, you know, former business partners, investors, landlords who are extremely unhappy with how he conducted himself. In one case, he, he's lost a $500,000 judgment over a movie uh, loan that went bad. The, the wife of uh, the man who made the loan told us, you know, very simply in an interview that she believes Mr. Parnas conned her, and now they're trying to track down, or conned her husband, I should say, and now they're trying to track down that money. Mr. Parnas told me that he plans to counter sue, but you know, there's just, uh, there's some messy finances, to say the least. So, Nicholas, I imagine as we continue down this road, there's going to be a lot of interesting characters that sort of pop up. Ukraine has seemed to have become sort of a hotbed for uh, shady and sometimes interesting and sometimes shady characters. Why do you think these two businessmen are particularly significant? They are viewed as Mr. Giuliani's most direct link to Ukraine. And I think the House believes, you know, they could shed light on 
who Mr. Giuliani was dealing with in particular, what the motivations were, and you know whether this was a, as Mr. Giuliani has said publicly, a kind of sanctioned White House activity. And you know, of course, uh, just like Watergate, you know, in this impeachment inquiry, there there's a strong South Florida connection. It always seems to come up in these cases. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I know. Don't I know your state's become like a bit of a meme. I don't want to, you know, <laughs> contribute to but it. But yeah, yeah, you know, you put Florida in there. Uh, Nicholas uh, Nahemis, thank you so much. Thank you.